Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about the oldest books on my TBR. So, if you're not new, you know that I have an extensive TBR and I have been on booktube since 2017. I have a lot of books that have been recommended to me or that I've picked up over the years because of booktube. But today we'll be talking about five books on my shelves that I picked up prior to starting booktube. So these books are books that I hold prior to 2017 when I started my channel. Now I really only had five books, like legitimately only had five books. And I was like, that seems like the perfect number for a reading vlog. But see what happened was I had to like stick some into places to work for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. So reading vlog did not happen because I planned on having these read and then there's some other things that happened. Um, like other challenges and things. So it's been like very broken up and I've just been kind of like reading things as I could. So today we're just going to talk about the five books that we're going to read and then once I have finished the remainder of the five because I have read a couple of them already. Once I have finished the remainder of the five I will come back and we will discuss the books that I read and how I felt about them. So these are books again that I purchased prior to booktube so prior to booktube influence if you will. Side note, I do have a video coming up, well planned, I don't know how early, how soon it'll be, um, but I do have a video planned for like booktube darlings or books that I purchased because they were rec to me, recommended to me a crap ton of times on booktube. But So the first book that we're going to talk about is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. I do not have my physical copy of it, my friend borrowed it, and she is actually currently reading that book right now. Technically the book that I had bought prior to 2017 was Throne of Glass because I had held on to that one for a really long time um, before reading it a couple of years ago but I still haven't like jumped back into the rest of the series since then and since I've already read Throne of Glass and I wanted to have like a full five books for this I went ahead and gave myself Crown of Midnight for that. If you're not aware which at this point if you're on booktube you should know Throne of Glass is the series about an assassin named Selena Sardathian. Wow I just said that so redneck my southern Ohio accent just came right on out y'all. Follows an assassin named Selena Sardothian and the book starts out with her being in this labor camp where she is abused and mistreated and all of these horrible things that happened to her. The captain the king's guard comes and takes her away from there and he's like we're gonna take you to the castle and you're gonna be in this challenge and you're gonna fight to be the king's assassin and if you become the king's assassin you kind of get some freedom but also not kind of really. And the book follows her trying to meet these trials to become the king's assassin so that she can have some freedom so that she can gain back some things from what she had lost. It's a whole thing. Like, it's a whole dang thing. And I know from being on booktube from being in this community that around book three things take a complete 180 turn as far as like the plot and what's actually happening and the characters and it becomes like an entire different series around book three. So I'm looking forward to that if I enjoy book two but uh, I need to read book two so on the list. Speaking of book two, Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. So this is part of the Everlife novels. The world building in this series is really good. I really enjoy it. So our main character 10, she has an obsession with numbers and you often find her counting um, 0 to 10 um, throughout the entire book. And she has been placed in this basically in a sane asylum or a place um, against her will as a teenager because she refuses to choose a afterlife. So in this world you have your human life and then once you die you pledge your afterlife to either Myriad or I believe the other one is Troika. I think it's Myriad and Troika. I could be wrong. But they're basically these two afterlife factions that are at war. And it's well known to everybody. The Myriad and Troika people like come to like they go out they're kind of like salespeople. They're kind of like Jehovah's Witnesses. They come to your house, they try to convince you to pledge to be on their side. It's a whole thing. Okay 
So she has refused to choose the side that her father wants her to choose. So they put her in this insane asylum trying to break her down so that they can make her choose what they want her to choose and then she breaks out of the asylum and it's a whole thing where she's like going on this battle and she's trying to pick a side and she's got two friends it's kind of a love triangle kind of not one's on each side she's got some friends that she's trying to save and then some friends that have died and she's trying to convince people to join different sides and she's trying to decide what side she wants to be on and it's a whole dang thing the world building in this is glorious the characters yeah I think I read the first book of this in 2016 and then purchased the second book. We're in 2021. The ending of the first book made me very <sighs> not want to pick up this book because I know what the trope is going to be in here and I know that it's not a trope that I enjoy. But I'm going to give it a shot and if I like it I like it and if I don't it gets to go off my shelves forever. Either way I win. Now we'll talk about the one that I already read because I technically read it in June. That is The Stranger Game by Selen Busby. So this book was a really good and I will link my review for it down below if you want to know. Um, all of the reviews for all of these will be linked down below. Just I haven't read them yet except for this one so it's future past me telling future me to make sure that you link the things down below so that future you except it's current you can look at the things Anyway, so this book follows Nico, who her sister, her older sister Sarah, has been terrible to her basically her entire life. She's a snot-nosed, bratty little bitch. And she treats Nico like shit. And Sarah goes missing. And it's been four years. And she comes back. And Nico kind of thinks that this Sarah, that there's something wrong with her and maybe it's not Sarah because of the way that she treats Nico. She's actually nice to Nico, who imagined? Who imagined? Who could imagine? Something like that. And then, so this book basically follows Nico trying to discover what actually happened to Sarah and if this new Sarah is Sarah. And the interesting thing is that you get both Nico's perspective as well as some of Sarah's perspective and it starts out one way and ends another way and you're not going to see what's happening to Sarah happen. It was a wild ride y'all and this is a very short book. Um, it's like 260 pages? 280. 280 pages. It's a wild ride. Highly recommend. We then have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I have not read this clearly which is why we're here. I have read the first Twilight novel DNF to the second. Um, but I unliked this movie and a lot of my friends have read this book and enjoyed it. So I'm gonna give it a shot. This is more sci-fi. It follows a girl whose body is taken over by an alien species and when most of the world, that has happened to most of the world already, and most people when the alien species takes over their body they have no control and they have no thoughts but this girl does have the thoughts and so her and the mind control thing like she's trying to convince that thing to get out of her brain it's a whole thing there's like a romance and there it's have you seen the movie and then finally we have it ends with us by Colleen Hoover I won this book on Facebook it is signed Ta -da! So I won this uh, a while ago. This was before I'd read any of Colleen's work. I have read some of it since then but I haven't read this one. Why did I get this one and win it and then purchase others of her books and not read this one yet? I don't know. So I'm gonna give this one a shot and see what happens. Again, if I love it, I love it. If I don't like it, I can DNF it and get it off on my shelves forever. Either way, it's a win for me. So these are four of the five books that we will be reading and when I have finished reading them all, I'll come back and join you and we can discuss them. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a very short update of how things went. Okay. As discussed previously, I did read The Stranger Game by Sil and Busby. I did enjoy this. I think it's a really interesting mystery and I do highly recommend it. Crown of Midnight I ended up giving a 3.25 out of 5 stars. 
I did really enjoy it. I think the biggest issue for me was pacing. I think that because this book was originally part of what was written as like a by the chapter story on the internet that it I don't know how much of the story was changed from one version to the other. I do know that there were changes made but I feel like the pacing is a little off and I, it's probably because plot points are similar as far as what was at one point and what was at the other. So I feel like the plot points make the pacing be off a little but as far as the book itself goes I did really enjoy it. I think that it was a very good book. Um, I know that that's like kind of a low rating but I mean that's it, it was enjoyable. I had a good time. I will definitely be continuing on with the series. I know that the next book is kind of where things take a drastic turn as far as like the plot and the themes of the book um, but I did actually enjoy it and there are several characters that I do enjoy so I want to continue on with that. We're gonna talk about It Ends With Us next. I filmed a whole clip. I don't think I'm going to share it. I think it was kind of cathartic for me in the moment but I don't know that I want to share it. Side note, I'm puppy sitting for my aunt's three dogs. So if you hear grumbling in the background, it's the two wiener dogs fighting on the couch. I don't know if this is going to be considered a soft DNF or a hard DNF. I'm not sure. I am going to hold on to this in case I do at some point feel like I can handle the content. I feel like this book definitely should have had a content warning. Um, it does deal a lot with spousal abuse and being a child growing up in that type of world and because that was a similar thing to my childhood this was not it didn't bring out good emotions in me let's put it that way um you know reading books that are based in your own trauma probably not a good idea and I did read the author's note which is what really killed me. So I read like the first 70 pages and I kind of had an idea of where it was going and because I am who I am I decided to look up like some synopsis online to kind of see if the plot went in the direction that I thought it was going to go and it did and I knew that that's not something that I can do. So again wish it had had some content warnings but you get what you get. I 100% I respect Colleen for writing this and for um, telling a story that does absolutely need to be told and I think if you can handle the content that is in this book then it would be a good book for you. What I read was well written and seemed like it was going to be a good story but I'm this content is not for me. I actually picked both these up last month so this this whole thing is kind of ruined by the fact that I read these over two months, three months. So if you watched my wrap up you already know but I DNF'd the host um, around page 80. I don't like the relationship in this. Um, there's just it, it's I'm not vibing with it. Um, the girl's like 16. Her love interest is in his mid to late 20s and she's basically forcing herself on him and he's like but no you're too young for me and she's like but I don't really care because the world's ended and he's like nah I'm not interested um like we just met three weeks ago and she's like but really I want to have sex with you and look the dude said no like three times you need to stop pushing and so I respect a man who in an age position tells the girl no but dnf to this and I also DNF'd A Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. I read like a third of this. I don't know how much of this I read. Not a whole lot. Probably not even a third. Probably not even a quarter. Probably not even very much at all. I knew that this had that trope that I hate which is the lovers on opposite sides of a war thing and they're being kept apart by magic and she wants to save the world not so that she can save the world but save the world so that she can like have sex with this dude because they're magically kept apart they can't touch each other and I have problems with these types of um plot devices in books especially in YA um and I knew that going into this book which is why it's been like five years since I picked it up and have been putting off reading it and I'm just I'm just not here for it so I didn't have this as well. So that's all five books. I read two that I liked. Um, one was like a this content's not for me and two I DNF'd and as I said at, you know earlier in the video the important thing for me is that these books have been on my shelves the longest of 
anything that I've had. These were books that I bought prior to booktube influence and I really just needed to get them off my shelves. Either read them and enjoy them or try to read them, hate them, DNF. Like things needed to happen and I'm happy that I have done that. Um, I've got some more of these style of videos coming up but I'm going to try to do them more conducively so that we're not like having them in multiple wrap-ups prior to this video. Yeah, I, I, I uh, didn't get to everything as quickly as I would have liked and I definitely need to plan things out better for the next round and I will do that. I have um, some others that I want to do coming up. I have uh, books I bought because of booktube. I also have about eight series that I own the entire series for. A lot of them are trilogies but some are like actual like multiple book series that I have the whole series for. Um, so I'm going to do some like reading this whole series for the first time. Uh, vlogs as well. I've got some things coming up in the future. I know this one was a little all over the place but I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you have read any of these books and you like them or dislike them you would like to discuss that hit me up in the comment section down below because that is why we're here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!